It's often said that each generation should be better off than their parents, but tell that to generation rent. According to the ABS Census 2016, outright homeownership is falling, mortgaged homeowners are increasing, and the proportion of renters is also increasing. GDP per capita officially fell in the third quarter of 2018. This basically means that the average Australian's living standards has gone backwards. Some forecasts predict that it will fall again in the fourth quarter. This would send Australia into a technical recession, of sorts. Australian population growth is one of the biggest contributors to these figures at around 1.6% per year, one of the highest rates in the Western world. This equates to 0.4% per quarter. Working out quarterly GDP growth per capita is quite simple. If Australia's population grows at 0.4% per quarter, then a GDP growth of 0.4% would result in no growth on a per capita basis. The average Australian experiences no benefit from a growing GDP if the population is also growing at the same rate. Basically, the impact of GDP growth is diluted by the impact of more people. According to the ABS, 60.6% of population growth comes from net overseas migration. Only 39.4% was from natural increase, that is, the effect of the ratio of births and deaths. Market economists are predicting a GDP growth of 0.4% in the fourth quarter, which would result in a zero per capita growth. But due to a spate of soft economic data in recent weeks, many say it will probably be worse. If the worst does come to fruition, then Australians will be facing a per capita recession. Although the headline aggregate GDP number is increasing, at the individual household level, Australians will be worse off. Increased population growth means less money, on average, for each Australian household. This is not scaremongering, this is just facts. Construction has been very weak of late due to the fall in the property market. In the last three months of 2018, it has been falling. Construction work accounts for about 15% of the economy, so if it goes down, it has a real impact on overall GDP figures. Consumer spending is the big one though. It's the biggest contributor to the economy at 60% of GDP. It is pretty much stalled of late as Australians are tightening their belts as they have too much debt to pay off and wage growth has pretty much flatlined. Consumer spending is now outpacing disposable income, clearly not a very sustainable trend. Anyway, a result of less than 0.4% GDP growth over the fourth quarter will mean that living standards of average Australian households have gone backwards for the past six months. I don't think it's a trend that's likely to change anytime soon, given house prices are still falling, consumer demand remains weak, and residential construction seems to have peaked. All of this may result in people losing their jobs, consequently increasing the unemployment rate. And that might just be the start of something much, much bigger.